since it's undeniable now, our southern border is open, and that's led to all kinds of problems across the country. But one of them is a dramatic increase in human smuggling and the sex trafficking, sometimes of children. So Kevin Lilly has been on this. He's the chairman of the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission, and he joins us tonight to tell us what he has discovered. Mr. Lilly, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. So I don't think I've read a thanks single nothing. story about human smuggling and sex trafficking because of our border policy. What have you discovered about it? Well, I think that people that are in desperate, vulnerable, or, or distressed situations are always vulnerable to crim be, being taken in by criminal elements. And yes. as you saw yesterday in Poland, for example, there was a mass rush on the Polish border from Belarus. And for the first time in history, the European Union is now going to fund, even from their most liberal countries, a border wall to protect against the migration of individuals. Now, before you really understand human trafficking, you have to understand the economics behind it. And as all criminal elements, uh, it has, like we've discussed in this country, supply chain issues. And in narcotics, you have a supply chain situation where the drug has to be manufactured, it has to be processed in a lab, then it has to be distributed, ultimately working through to get to the end user, right? And then you have a vial of cocaine that is used, but once it's consumed, that supply chain has to work in essentially in perpetuity. And it's subject to its own disruptions, legal disruptions, uh, law enforcement, et cetera. The difference, and that is a $350 billion industry, the difference with human trafficking and why it has become so enticing to the cartels and to the human smugglers is while it's a $200 billion industry and growing, and in some cases, Tucker, they think that it will surpass narcotics um, in revenue. The difference is, as disgusting and horrible as it sounds, you're dealing with human inventory. You're dealing with yeah. reusable inventory. And um, these are situations where you have 300,000 individuals in Texas, based upon a University of Texas study, are being trafficked in Texas now, including 80,000 children, ages 11 to 17. And so you have this essentially uh, we are providing inventory to the cartels. So when you have an ill-defined or open border policy, well, it, it, the defenders of it believe that they're being benevolent, but what they're actually doing right. is providing free inventory, essentially no cost of goods, to the cartels who then bring these individuals in, to which there is no escape. They're in debt bondage if they have to pay a coyote or what have you, sometimes as much as $20,000 narcotics, lifestyle, etc. And, and so, so when they are brought in, go ahead, sorry. No, I mean, you're just, you're just, you just pointed out the deep irony, which is in the name of ending racism, we're increasing slavery in the United States. I mean, it sounds like you're describing slavery, people who are in involuntary servitude selling their bodies for the benefit of others. And it, it, it gets more cruel than that because of the treatment. It's, it's, it's not just simply repaying the debt you owe me $5,000, once you're done, you're done. What they do is they typically take these girls in and they are, they, they are being used sometimes five, 10, 15 times a day and they don't let them ever leave. And so they basically take their identity, uh, they take their passports, um, yep. and if they try to escape, they're beaten, they're tortured, they're whipped, they're branded. I've heard of situations where they tie them to ant beds. It's so it is, a, it is, it's an atrocious and deplorable treatment of these individuals yes. um, who are desperate. Kevin Lilly of the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission. I appreciate your explaining that to us tonight. It's deeply upsetting, but it's worth knowing. Thank you. Take a look at this here. This was a pretty big deal. For the very first time during this border crisis, what you're looking at here is Texas DPS and the Texas National Guard ran an operation on Tuesday night in Roma, Texas to finally go after one of those human smugglers using rafts to bring illegal immigrants across the Rio Grande in Roma, Texas. They went after a raft, they got all the Ill illegal immigrants inside of it, and they got that cartel-affiliated smuggler. Here's his mugshot, take a look at him. We had to blur his face out uh, because he's a 17-year-old. He's a Mexican national who had actually been arrested two times previously for human smuggling. I'm told when they tried to arrest him, 
He actually fought law enforcement. He fought those state troopers, uh, assaulted them. So he's facing a litany of charges. Then take a look at the second mugshot right here. This is one of the passengers, one of the illegal immigrants who he was smuggling across the river into Texas. He's a 45 year old man from El Salvador. He is a previously deported felon who had a conviction for sexual assault. So the idea here is the state of Texas, Texas DPS telling me they are sending a message that if the federal government is not going to patrol that river and stop these rafts from coming over, the state of Texas is going to fill that void, protect the people of Texas. They're going to have to do it themselves, and they're putting these smugglers on notice that these, these, these smugglers who we've seen on video all year long now being real cocky, real brazen, laughing at our cameras, giving us the money sign when they come over, smiling as they do these smuggling jobs, um, they're on notice now that it ain't going to be that easy anymore. They will try to take them down.